Well, um, I thought that the Akamai internship was a great opportunity to um, get more involved in the scientific community here in Hawaii. And they have such a w wide range of um, places where you can in intern at. And I was actually really excited to get uh, placed at one of the telescopes because, especially considering all the controversy that's been going on, it gave me more of an opportunity to uh, talk with uh, people who worked there and hear their side. And it was kind of interesting because I got to be a little bit more involved. And I liked it, though. And Akamai is a really great program, too. Um, they stay with you the whole time. And they uh, make sure that you're really comfortable at your internship. And they also give you some stuff on the side. Like they help you with uh, building your resume, working on a curriculum vitae, and a uh, cover letter, stuff like that. It's a really, really good program. I really liked it. I'm supportive of it because of, um, I think that it would be great to, like the amount of knowledge we can gain from it. And especially since it's in Hawaii, it um, offers more STEM opportunities in the community. And it gives back to the existing STEM fields that exist in Hawaii, which aren't very many. I mean, I'm graduating soon and I'm thinking about um, where I'd want to go and it's kind of difficult to stay in Hawaii. But um, with the 30 meter telescope, it brings more opportunities. I think it's really cool because, I mean, um, they said that they'll be able to look farther than they've ever been able to before, and we could learn so much about the universe, like the origin of um, the universe itself, which has been such a widely debated idea for such a long time, and it would be really cool to learn about all of this and have the opportunity to see back to where it all began. So I think it would be really cool. I honestly think that as a Hawaiian, like, I mean, Hawaiians obviously valued astronomy really highly. They used it for navigation and they were aware that um, the mountain was a really special place and of course they deemed it sacred, but um, I feel like definitely they could move forward if some of the protectors realized that um, a lot of people don't like think that um, the TMT is going to destroy the mountain, but I feel like um, it brings more attention to the mountain, like highlights that it's such a special place and that we get to learn so much from it. And there's no place else like it in the world where we can learn stuff like this. I mean, I think it's kind of trivial to be so fixated on the past that you don't even want to move forward into the future with this project, which is what I think that the TMT will bring. And it will bring such great attention to Hawaii too. I grew up, uh, my, my mom signed me up for a lot of science programs, like Ellen Sinoni Zuka Day, stuff like that, on the Big Island and uh, Future Flight. And I thought it was such a great opportunity to get exposure to STEM fields. And of course, it got me interested in what I want to do, which is robotics. And I think it's such an excellent idea for the future because uh, humanity is moving towards a more uh, technological world where everything's going to have to be um, well, technology basically is the future. And I think it would be great to have more people invested in that so that we can learn as much as we can. And of course, um, see how hum humanity impacts the earth. And I feel like the STEM fields are the best way to learn more about it. Well, definitely the job opportunities and of course, um, T TMT said that they'd uh, put money into um, Native Hawaiian, uh, what's the word, like programs for the youth and for STEM majors. And I feel like it just expands so much more on what's already there. I mean, um, if you think about it, on the Big Island, the only real thing you can do with uh, engineering is uh, astronomy or um, renewable energy. And I feel like TMT will help that little community of STEM fields, STEM careers to grow. And it would be more of an opportunity for people in Hawaii to stay in Hawaii if they want to study that field.
I wish the protesters would stop making false claims, basically. There's a lot of misconceptions going around and people just, people get really emotional because they think it's, you know, it's really close to their heart, they're Hawaiian. I mean, they feel like their culture is threatened, but they don't step back and try to take the time to really understand what's going on. And I see it, I mean, I mean, I have friends who are against it and um, some of them just don't even try to educate themselves on what's actually happening. And that's the most frustrating part is that people are um, uh, purposefully being naive and making all these false accusations towards the telescope without trying to find out more about it. Well, I guess the biggest one is like people say that it's going to threaten the aquifer, which, which it's not because, I mean, there's a, an entire environmental impact report being done. I mean, it was uh, scrutinized heavily for seven years before, I mean, I think that it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, if it threatened the natural aquifer underneath the mountain, then they want to build it. But I don't know. People think that, oh, TMT is like a big money-making scheme, but it's not. It's ridiculous.